Hey guys, and welcome back to the Countdown to Sonic Generations. It's time for that stage from that game. Yep, that's right, we're into the modern era with Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. The level of choice? Crisis City. The only truly good level in Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. And what a level to choose. Sure, one thing I've, I've noticed that we could complain about is they did take a lot of city-themed levels for Adventure and Modern Era, but you can't really include Crisis City in that, because, well, look at it. Is this your normal city? This is no normal city. This is Crisis City, where everything explodes and is made out of hellfire. And it starts off with a somewhat ba awkward uh, snowboarding segment. Though it's honestly not that bad. Come on. It's not hard to avoid all the Iblis monsters. And I somehow missed that rail, and I'm not going to question it because it's 06. And that, I can never avoid that enemy. That annoys me. Here, if you um, don't take a split path, you stay around the middle. You can grind on here for on the rail for a lot of rings and stuff. Unless, if you've noticed, I am cutting out loading times because who wants to see them? And now we're into the second part, the running segment. And we've got some kind of awkward grinding out. I mean, look, the, the grinding rail switch. You have to directly jump off and then land on it, which is annoying. I don't see why they couldn't just take the grinding from Heroes or Adventure 2. See, see, see look at this. Look at that. Yeah. I guess I should talk about the music. I mean, the music of Sonic 06 is probably the best part of the game. And Crisis City's song is no exception. Crisis City's song is awesome. Really suits the uh, theme. And it's actually a really good tune. It suits the sort of hellish, oh my god, everything's going bad environment that Crisis City has. And, yeah, you can literally just skip these enemies. So I'm really looking forward to hearing the remix they do for it. And because I'm a klepto, I had to go for the um, silver medal. Yeah. Light dash. And stuff. Yeah. If I didn't cut out the um, loading times, this would have been 10 minutes long. This video, 10 minutes is too long. At least I managed to shorten it to about 7. Uh, 7 minutes by cutting out the loading times, which is good. Springs because stuff. And as you think, look, Sonic 06, whilst it's not a good game, at least Crisis City is a good, some is a pretty good level, and you somewhat, for some reason, you cannot get those rings at all. There, just it. Homing attack this wall, and it will fall down because that. Yeah, I've run out of things to say. Hooray. Yeah. That bit always messes me up, because I always think I can reach it by going up. And then that time I just randomly missed the um, rail, I have no idea why, but I got it the third time. Third time lucky. And in the endless slide, because that that's annoying if you start a slide. It takes forever for Sonic to get up and you can't do it manually, you have to wait for the slide to finish. And this slide goes on for six miles. So there, yeah, that's annoying. Ah, here's the bit. This is a very awesome part of the stage and I really want them to do this. Look at the size of this loop. That is an awesome loop. That is one of the best loops ever. And then you've got stuff like the exploding office block thing. And now we're launched into the tornado, which is probably trying to recreate something kind of like Windy Valley from Sonic Adventure 1. And this is not my the favourite part of the stage because there's a lot of jumping, but it's honestly not too bad. The worst part of the stage is, in my opinion, actually the final part of the level. So I don't think it's all that bad, it's just not still the worst part of the stage overall, if you get what I mean. I there for some reason the light dash didn't work, but luckily there was a platform below me to work because of the bounce bracelet. Yeah. As you can see, lots of running and jumping. Of course there'd be a lot of running, it's Sonic, but there's a lot of jumping. A lot more jumping than normal. 
and homing attack chains because why the heck not? This is the only part of the level that doesn't really make any sense. It's random tornado blowing things across. And then gravity defying hedgehog. And now we're on to the Mark Speed segment. Yes, that tornado is carrying a car. It's a flame tornado and it's lobbing cars at you. And at this point, you are constantly running. You are always running. You've got to avoid everything. And it's annoying because of the speed and the fact that Sonic controls really poorly. I did also cut out a death here, because, well, who wants to see a death? Especially because I got like, really far into the Mark Speed segment and then I had to repeat the entire thing, which was very, very annoying. Ow. And then here, the camera reverses, so you cannot see ahead of you, but there's nothing ahead of you at this point, so it doesn't matter. Besides rings. And you just want to move left and right to dodge the cars that are being flown at you. Oh, and I think Modern Sonic will probably have to be running away from the tornado, and then Classic Sonic will probably be in the uh, air tornado thing with all the platforming. That would work, in my opinion. And so I guess this is where Perfect Chaos is going to be. It would make sense. Kind of. And... Yeah, just keep running around everything. And more cars to dodge. But there, this is the only good level in Sonic 06, in my opinion. It's not even that great, it's just out of all the ones, if there was one that I would pick, it would be this. But anyway, there it is, the level is completed. And next time on the Countdown to Sonic Generations, we are going to Sonic Unleashed, the Wii PS2 version, for Rooftop Run. See you then.